When I was a, a young man growing up in Pocomoke, I went on occasion to, on Sunday evenings, to the First Baptist Church of Pocomoke with the Reverend Norman Mitchell. We went because after church was over, my mom, my dad, and the Harrisons, and uh, the Wimbros, and some of us went out to dinner or to lunch, to a late snack or, or, or something, just to have time to be together. And of course we went for worship as well. One Sunday evening that I was there, they were playing an old, old, old black and white movie. And I thought to myself, there is nothing about this movie I want to see. And I planned to take a little nap, but I'm glad I didn't. It was the original film version of Charles Sheldon's book, What Would Jesus Do? Now, some of you who are of a certain age might remember the old black and white movie. Others will remember the fact that about... 10 years ago, Oscar, 12 years mm -hmm. ago, uh, people were going around with the bracelets again and things. Sometimes things circulate back around for us. But in this movie, in his book, which is an outstanding book, Sheldon invites us to ask the question about every decision, every choice, everything we do, what would Jesus do? Not what do we want to do, not what's the easy route, not even what suits our personality, taste, or choices, but to ask, what would Jesus do? And then do it. Sometimes that's pretty hard. Christ doesn't always lead us along an easy road. Sometimes when we know what Jesus wants us to do, our natural inclination is to go in the opposite direction. But if we take seriously that statement, what would Jesus do? Our faith deepens and grows. Our trust in Jesus grows. And we become more, increasingly more like Christ. You know, as I think about 33 years now as a United Methodist pastor, I'm convinced of several things, but let me just share one with you. I preach every Sunday. I teach a lot. I talk way too much. And I'm convinced that the world doesn't need more of Dale. But the world needs a whole lot more of Jesus. And if I can convey that with my words and my spirit and my attitude and how I live and who I am, then there's hope. Because like I said, the world doesn't need Dale, but the world desperately needs Jesus. Folks, I hope even though it's an old black and white movie and an old book that you have to buy, uh, you know, at the bookstore, I think it's called In His Steps and What Would Jesus Do and these things. I hope you'll think about it. Put it into practice. And don't just try it once, but try it multiple times. And only by trying over and over again do we begin to see the change in our lives. And I think one of the changes is that we become more loving, more kind, more gentle, more like Jesus. May God bless you.